an unexpected drop today as Nvidia has quietly released a fine-tuned version of Llama 3.1 70 billion parameter model that's making waves in the AI community. This new model called Llama 3.1 Nemotron, which is a 70 billion parameter model, is outperforming some of the most advanced AI models on multiple benchmarks, including OpenAI's GPT-4 and Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. On the Arena Hard benchmark, Nemotron scored an 85, whereas Cloud 3.5 Sonnet scored a 79.2 and GPT-4 scored a 79.3. Now, Nemotron also outperformed these two models on Alpaca Evol 2 LC as well as on the MT benchmark test, which is just simply incredible. Currently, there is two ways to access the model. First is through Nvidia Nim, where you can start chatting with the model the second method is through Hugging Chat, which is the easiest way for you to use this new model. Just simply create a free account and select the model card and you can easily start chatting with it. Now for some reason, if you're interested in installing this model, if you have the capability to do so, you can actually copy this model card and you can head over to LM Studio. This is a great application that lets you host any open source model locally. If you do not know how to install this, I'll leave a link to it in the description below so that you can easily install LM Studio. But simply copy the model card for Nemotron if you're interested in installing this, paste this into the search tab and press go. If you cannot find it, just remove the model card, uh, certain bits of the model card and just keep it as Nemotron and you will easily find it. You'll find different quant methods for the GGUF over here on the left hand or the right hand panel. And once you find the one that you would want to install just simply click the download button and you can easily start chatting with it within the chat conversation tab once you have selected the model now the nemotron release coincides with nvidia's recent work on help steer 2 which is a reward model framework and it enhances the trading process by completing and contemplating traditional ratings with human preference this framework is quite pivotal in aligning models for better instruction following as demonstrated in their Llama 3.1 70 billion instruct model, which tops the reward bench with a score of 94.1. Essentially, this model was trained using Reinforce as well as with the Help Steer 2 preference prompts on the Llama 3.1 70 billion instruct model. And based off of all of this, it was capable of correctly solving the question as to how many R's are in Strawberry without specialized prompting or additional reasoning tokens and you can see that it was able to correctly answer and specify that there's three r's in the word strawberry so now what we're going to be doing is testing the nemotron model and this is where we're going to be assessing it with various sorts of prompt in various categories from coding to reasoning to ethics to even mathematical so let's go ahead and start asking it these prompts the first prompt is to write a Python function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in a list. This is a coding based prompt and this is where we're going to be assessing the LM's ability to understand and write the correct Python code, especially listing the comprehension and basic conditions. So let's go ahead and have it generate this. And there we go. We have the answer as well as an example use case of it but we can see that it was able to return the correct Python code for this, where it was able to list the comprehension within the sum, as well as having the clarity to basically output it in a clean syntax. So we can go ahead and give this a pass within our benchmark test. So let's give this a pass. And something to also note is that I actually found that Hugging Chat also does a great job in providing answers. And at the current moment, since there is a lot of people utilizing uh, NVIDIA NIM, you could use uh, Hugging Chat as an alternative, which will provide answers faster at the current moment. So I'm going to go ahead and actually utilize the Hugging Chat, uh, I would say Chatbot, because it's going to be a bit more faster in getting answers. So let's go ahead now and let's ask it to solve a mathematical reasoning question. This is a prompt that is going to assess and evaluate the LM's arithmetic and problem solving capabilities. So in this case, I asked it if a tra train travels 60 miles per hour for 2.5 hours, then increases its speed to 75 miles per hour for the next 1.5 hours. What is the total distance traveled? So in this case, 
what it's doing is it's splitting up the answer in three processes and we can see that it utilized the correct formula which is distance equals speed multiplied by time and we can see that it was able to correctly give us the correct answer which is 262.5 miles so we can go back to our spreadsheet and we can give this a pass now this is a prompt that tends to fail with many lms we have the prompt to simply generate an svg code for a butterfly shape so let's go ahead and see if it's capable of doing this this is something that will check the LM's ability to generate valid SVG code and understand the geometric shape as well as design of what we want it to represent. So once it has finished generating, I'll showcase the image. So it has generated the SVG code. So I copied it and I went over to an SVG viewer and I pasted it. Now this looks fairly inaccurate because you have the wings on the left hand panel, whereas it should be with the main body. So now what I've done is I went back into Hugging Chat and I requested it to generate a new code so that it can place the wings on the correct body parts or like the main body side. So let's copy this new code and paste this in. And in this case, it failed to do it again. So we can go ahead and actually give this a fail. Next prompt is to design an algorithm to optimize the layout of a warehouse for an e-commerce store. Now, this is a category that focuses on algorithmic designs as well as operation research. Now, in this case, what we're looking for is if the LM does a great job in terms of designing different algorithms, which you see that it focuses on doing over here, and it involves multiple constraints, which focus on size variations, seasonal demands, as well as fluctuations. So we can see that it focuses on doing all of these measures, as well as providing example use cases and a commit message with an API documentation. So this is definitely a pass in my case. Now, the next one is to basically create the game of life. Now, this is a prompt that tends to fill with many LMs, same as the SVG prompt. So let's go back into Hug and Chat and send over this prompt. Essentially, what this is doing is focusing on creating a Python implementation of the game of life, which will focus on assessing the model's coding ability, especially implementing cellular uh, automation simulations so let's see if it's capable of generating the code for this game so it looks like it has finished generating the code so i went along and i pasted it into vs code and let's see if this is functional and it looks like it's actually doing a great job in generating this game now if i was to actually open this up in my terminal it would definitely look a little bit more appealing but this looks to be functional in my opinion so this is definitely a pass and I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the benchmark and go ahead and give this a pass. The next prompt is focused within the category of logical reasoning and problem solving. Now, essentially this is a six step process where it's a prompt that is gonna ask you that you have a three gallon jug and a five gallon jug. How can you measure exactly four gallons of water? And within six steps, it's gonna be able to evaluate the logical reasoning of the problem and it's gonna have the ability to problem solve it through a stepwise deduction. So in this case, we can see that the final answer is that you now have exactly four gallons of water in the five gallon jug, which is 100% correct. So let's go back into the spreadsheet and give this a pass. The next prompt category is focused on empathy and communication, where we're basically testing the LM's ability to generate an empathetic and supportive language in a sensitive context. We're asking it to be human-like in this case, where we're asking this prompt to the LM, where a friend tells you that they didn't get the job they wanted, craft the empathetic response that acknowledges their feelings and offer support. So in this case, we can start off by reading the first context of this paragraph. I am so sorry to hear that you didn't get the job. I know how much you were hoping to get it, and it's totally normal to feel disappointed and frustrated right away. So we can see that it is perceiving empathy for the friend, and we can see that it is crafting a response that's going to acknowledge your friend's feelings and it's going to provide additional support so we can go ahead and we can give this a pass so let's go back to the spreadsheet and give this a pass now the next category of the prompt that we're focusing on is within ethics and this is where we asked it that a self-driving car must choose between hitting a group of pedestrians or serving and likely killing its single passenger what ethical considerations are involved in programming such decisions now, in this case, this situation is going to involve 
various ethical dilemmas where it's going to focus on utilitarianism as well as on deontology. And this is correct because we wanted the answer to focus on these two dilemmas. It also focuses on moral responsibility uh, as well as various sorts of dilemmas. And in this case, it was able to successfully evaluate the LM's understanding of ethical frameworks and how they apply to AI decision making. So in this case, this is a pass. So let's go to the spreadsheet and give this a pass. The next prompt is focused on creative writing. And this is something that usually every LM tends to pass at. This is where I request it to write a short story, approximately 150 words about a time traveler. And we can see that it does a great job in formulating the intro as well as the main paragraph, as well as the conclusion. And we can see that it was able to thoroughly understand how it's able to uh, section off and utilize these 150 words for this short story. So let's go ahead and give this a pass. Now, lastly, we're having the model explain the difference between irony and sarcasm. And essentially, we're trying to see if it's capable of generating an example for each. And in this case, we provided a definition for irony and sarcasm and provided two examples. And it was successfully able to differentiate between the two. So in this case, it was successful in providing a good, uh, I would say, difference between the two. And it was able to understand the two concepts quite well. So let's go ahead and give this a pass. And that is basically it for this test. It was able to answer everything but the SVG code. And this is a 90% success rate in this benchmark test. To give some context, this is really good because the old one preview also received a 90% score within this benchmark test. And with other models like Quen 2.5, as well as the Llama 3.1 model, it also failed in a couple of these benchmarks, whereas this Neotron, Nemotron LM was successfully able to get majority of the answers right, and it only failed with the SVG code. But overall, this is definitely a great open source model that you can easily get started with today. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below, but it's great to see that we have a new open source king that is slowly becoming on par with closed source models. Huge props to the NVIDIA team in developing this model. I will leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. But that's basically it, guys. Definitely recommend that you try this out. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different paid AI subscriptions for free, as well as joining our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.